Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am testing a new product on camera for the first time and I am super excited about it as I am in all of my videos because I'm an excitable bunny. So today I'm testing out the New Skin Polishing Peel. I went to school with Jessica who is from Rumpy Plumpy and she asked if I could test this basically on camera, let you guys know my thoughts, so that is what I'm doing today. The reason I'm so excited to try it is because it's basically like a chemical peel but without the chemicals. It's an exfoliating cream. It is um, basically like myco... I can never say words on camera. Micro... Mi microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion. I probably got that wrong, I do apologise. But it is basically becoming one of the most popular non-surgical cosmetic procedures available. So Jessica was saying that it costs about £300 and it's rather painful as well. But this polishing peel is the equivalent and it is way cheaper. And this is £31.99 and you can use it more than once. There is plenty of product in there, which is really good. I thought it was a one-off kind of thing at first. So it is definitely worth the money. We shall see. So I'm going to be, yeah, testing this on camera. This is on the website. Polishing peel is an alternative to professional treatments. Polishing peel delivers a fresh, healthy complexion and leaves time to focus on what's most important because, you know, we ain't got the money to go spending 300 quid on a chemical peel or on this microdermabrasion. And, you know, if you can do it at home for cheaper, you guys know I love cheap bangs and if we can kind of cheat and still get the same results, then why not? So that's why I've got nothing on my face at the minute. I've got a lovely note from Jessica as well saying, um, thank you for supporting me. And it was just saying what you do using the polishing peel. She also put in a mud mask as well, which was so nice. Um, so if you do get a chance, go and check that out. So with the polishing peel, you have to use two fingers to spread it evenly across your face. Wait a minute until it's dry and then use two fingers to rub it off. So it's a quick job basically you're not gonna have to wait around for half an hour some treatments they do take a long time but this one on one minute wait till it's dry and rub it off you can't wait for it to go too dry but i think once it's dried a bit you then start scrubbing it off it should just remove all of the dead skin and basically everything on the surface let's hope my face don't fall off <laughs> my skin has come up a little bit at the moment uh, around here but my skin isn't perfect right now rather than kind of waiting for my skin to calm down i'm gonna have a go oh good i was gonna say i can't read that if it's in french for best results use three times the first week and twice a week thereafter i am going to use this once to see how it is today my skin is very sensitive and it doesn't like too much going on at once so i may just use this once a week and see how it goes and i will follow up maybe twice a week i just don't want to irritate my skin i will follow up on my social media and let you guys know how it is in a couple weeks time basically so i've got a towel down apparently i'm very pink today on wednesdays we wear pink it's friday here we go honeys Apply a visible even layer to your skin, dry face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Let stand for 30 to 60 seconds or until skin begins to tighten and firm. Time will vary depending on climate and skin type. Of course, like a rose against the clock, I can already feel it tightening. Here we go. So. Right, so I think that's been on for about a minute. I mean, it's it's dry. So it doesn't have to be, it's not meant to be too dry, but it's firm and I can feel it's tighter anyway. So what I'm gonna do is, because I've got the towel down and I'm just going to start, scrub it off. Like this, you have to just like, oh, oh. Oh, yep, yeah, this is a messy job. This is a messy job, people. This is a messy job. Get your bib out. And you have to like, this rub, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I rubbing? Just right? Oh god. Okay, I think there's some areas that aren't dry enough yet. Bear in mind, I've got oily skin, so sure, I don't think I've ever looked so attractive on camera. So I might need to wait a little bit longer. Some bits haven't dried enough, but I'm going to do the bits that have. But I can definitely feel it's done something. Like my skin feels like warmer. 
As polishing peel firms, use your fingertips to massage target area in a circular motion to work product into large particles that will buff away dead skin cells. If product becomes too dry, moisten your fingertips slightly and continue massaging to remove product. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Follow with the new skin toner and moisturiser of your choice. Unfortunately, honeys, I ain't got one. So, you have a good old scrub. Oh, my face feels warm. Oh, it feels very warm. Is that normal? It's meant to take this long to scrub off or cold, yeah. Your girl's been scrubbing for a while. So it would probably be better to do it in your bathroom over your sink. Just saying. Probably not where I'm doing it. In my filming room. Cupping a towel like it's a bib. Okay, I think I've been like done scrubbing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that feels nice. Oh. Oh, my skin feels like it's been through a workout. <laughs> my nose looks like I've had a cold. Have you ever wondered what I look like when I've been blowing my nose too much? Or what I look, would it look like if my skin was molting? Shedding, that's the word, not a cat. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, normally, if I was doing this, I wouldn't have any eye makeup on and I'd probably have my hair up in a bun with a headband scraping it back. But I don't think you guys want to see that look. Um, so... <laughs> I've prettied it up a little bit. I'm gonna wash it off like you're supposed to. I'm gonna go and put a little bit of face makeup on. So I'm feeling like my skin is quite red at the minute, but I have just been scrubbing it for a while, like five minutes, seven minutes probably. How long am I filming? About eight minutes. So I've been scrubbing it off. It's taken a bit of time for me to scrub it off. Yeah, my skin feels really nice underneath. Um, it definitely feels like something's happened to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel like I've done something which is good because obviously it's taking away the layers of dead skin and stuff so yeah I'm just gonna wash it all off put some face makeup on and I will be back so I've just taken it off but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of kind of if you can see the redness around here just so you can see kind of what I mean about it being a bit red there is some hanging out in my eyebrow, so just ignore that. But like, definitely like up in here, up in here, you can see the difference between oh, like my scalp colour. This is not dandruff, this is the product. So, I am big, everyone. So, I have put on my face makeup. I took it off and it felt it felt okay, it felt fine. I came back on here before I'd put any moisturiser on and put on my face makeup. It My foundation went on a bit funny. I don't know whether that's, I think that might just be me. All the redness went away and everything. And yeah, my skin feels cool. I mean, I can't really, Say too much until the next couple of days. I will write in the description what's kind of happened over the next couple of days um, in terms of how my skin has been. Like I said, I have a little bit of a breakout under here, so I don't know whether that's going to clear it up or if it's going to aggravate it. I will have to let you guys know. As it said, to use it three times a week for the first week and then twice a week thereafter. I will probably do it once a week and I'll let you guys know, like I say, on a social media post how it goes afterwards, but make sure you're following me on all of my different social medias so that you can keep up to date with everything. It was a bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be to use to kind of scrub it off. I would recommend going over a sink and to have a towel down or something to catch all of the bits that come off. Other than that though, it definitely felt like it was doing something. It was like not burning, but I, it kind of had like a burning sensation, which I quite like because I like knowing that it's doing something. So my face went very hot, as you saw the redness. That was mainly in the forehead area though. Skin felt like it had had a good, you know, a good kind of freshen up, I guess. And all the dead skin's gone. Some bits are still kind of hanging around like here. So just, yeah, make sure you really scrub it off when you get it off. But I think it was, yeah, nice. I did make sure I put my sponge cloth cold afterwards because I always do that after I do a face mask or even when I wash my face in the morning, I always just splash it with cold water afterwards because once you've opened up all of your pores with warm water and you've got everything 
in and you've got the mask, and you've done all of that. Splashing your face with cold water then closes up all of your pores and that's why people do it when they go to a sauna or a steam room or something then you go and have a cold shower. It exercises your skin and exercises all of your pores. I don't like it, I'm gonna use it again. On first impression, it was easy to put on. It smelled nice as well. It smells, it smells different in here. It's not as strong, but when you get it on your face, it does kind of bring out a really nice kind of perfumed scent, which is nice. And that is that really. I, I can't really say anything else at this stage, but I enjoyed it on my first use. Felt like it was doing something. I feel like it has taken away the dead layer of skin um, and all the dead skin cells and all that jazz. If I'm doing it next time, I do it, I'm going to leave my skin to breathe afterwards and just kind of yeah, let it do its thing um, without any other makeup going on. So that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did want to purchase, then I will leave everything in the description below for you and you can go and grab it. If you've tried this before, let me know in the comments what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Thank you so much to Jessica for asking me to do this video. I did purchase it myself at a slightly discounted price, but just so you guys know that I did buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you in my next one. Bye!